Hey guys, today I want to show you something very simple, but something that I'm sure would interest a lot of you, which is how do we cook and live and prepare our food here in this basic camp? We've been here for over a week now and on the island for well over a month, but I still haven't shown you how we actually make lunch, dinner, breakfast, all these things. Today is a bit of a special one because today we're making this fish. Here we go. This is a fish that was gifted to us by the local fishermen over there. They gave it to me this morning in exchange for some of the oranges that I gave to them yesterday. So it's a bit of a barter here, really. And uh, I'm gonna be cooking it, at least trying to cook it. But before I get started, let me make some chai. The thing about making chai or getting drinking water or cooking water is that of course we don't have a sink and a tap here in this kitchen it's very basic we only have a stove from all the kind of appliances that you would normally recognize so the way to do it is grab yourself one of these kettles and then a tank of water like this which we get from the local source or the village uh, the tank in the village and then pour it in <laughs> There we go, almost done. Hoppa. It's really heavy. Now that the water is ready, I'm gonna go and turn on the gas, which is here. All right, and that takes the gas to the stove where I can grab the lighter from my little shelf here <laughs> that I've devised and uh, turn it on. Here we have some tea, pour it in, that should be enough. Cooking on a fire instead of using an electrical kettle always takes a little bit longer, but I personally love it. Almost ready. And with this cup of chai, I'm getting mentally ready to go and uh, clean that fish. <laughs> Not the nicest thing to do, but a necessary one. Let's go. Funnily enough, I used to think that uh, gutting and cleaning fish is a pretty off-putting, slightly gross activity. And then I realized that all the beautiful pink fillets that I can buy on a supermarket shelf, they are not born like that. That's not their natural state. They are actual fish. This is how they come originally as living, breathing animals from the sea. So I realized that if I eat fish, I should learn about the process of what it takes to clean and gut them and prepare them ready for consumption. First, you take a knife, you take the fish and you have to cut right through it. And what happens after that? You take all the guts, throw them into the sea so it's nice and clean and you can actually eat it that way. Normally, we would barbecue our fish on an open fire outside, especially in the evenings, but this fish is called a bonito. And apparently bonitos are not that great fried because they're already dry. So I'm gonna slice it up and then put it in some boiling water to cook it. And now with the fish in the pot and slowly boiling, I'm gonna grab some vegetables and some tomato concentrate to make a sauce. Now the thing is, we do have a cool box here, but we use it to store most of our food. We rarely have access to ice, so basically we don't really have a fridge. So all the veggies that you see here, everything has to be stored only for a few days. So we only buy a little bit at a time. I'm chopping up a bunch of onions, adding some garlic and some tomato concentrate because this fish is relatively dry. I feel like it needs a bit of a liquidy kind of sauce today. All right, the fish has just cooked. It's right here. Oh, looks ready. We've got some bread here called hoops from the local village. We buy it every morning. And we've got the tomato sauce, which is ready now. Let's go eat. And here we've got the meal. Today we're sharing it with a couple of our fishermen friends. And we've got, well, everything that I've cooked. Doesn't look great. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't look too bad. Tamam? Oh, yes. Okay, Hamis says it's tamam, so it's okay. <laughs> that must be tamam. Good. <laughs>